Hi, welcome to the course Azure Data Factory in Azure Data Engineer. So now in this lecture, let us try to understand another scenario. So that is logging the pipeline details actually. So this is very, very important scenario because we are going to use this one uh, regularly for every pipeline actually in the real time. So that's the reason. Let us try to understand how to log the pipeline details. It's very straightforward. It's very straightforward and very simple. Okay. So in general, after a whole pipeline is pipeline execution is completed, then we need to perform logging the details actually. So how it is happened and which pipeline, what is its run ID, all the details we can log it. So for that purpose, what we are doing is in the database, we are going to have one stored procedure uh, for calling this logging details, for inserting these logging details. And we are going to have one table to store all these log details. Uh, here, for example, in the database, I'm going to take the table name called ADF underscore pipeline underscore log. So which is going to store all the log details. And what we are going to store here is row number and the data factory. So what is which data factory uh, executed? Because in real time, you can have multiple factories. So which data factory uh, used this, uh, this one? And the pipeline name, again, we can have multiple pipelines in one ADF. So which particular pipeline is run and uh, pipeline run ID. So one pipeline you can run multiple times. So at which time uh, executed pipeline output you want. Every time pipeline execution output, if you want to check every time run ID is distinct as we've seen already and the day timestamp we are going to use. So this is the table we are going to use. Let us try to create it. So yes, it is done. Table is ready. Now just let us see the data inside this table. So let us copy, select, store from this table. So because we created just now, there is no data. So that's what we can observe. Now let us get, try to go to the stored procedure. So this is the stored procedure we are going to use for inserting these log details. So that is what ADF underscore log. And then we are going to get the these details, data factory name, pipeline name, pipeline run ID in the form of parameters from the ADF actually. So these details we are just inserting and then we are getting the current timestamp by using the get date function in the SQL server. So that's what actually all details we are going to insert. Okay, first of all, let us try to create this stored procedure, execute this. So stored procedure is also created. So done, these things is done now, but uh, this pipeline should call from the ADF actually. So that's what let us try to go to the ADF now. So now this is the ADF. Let us try to take a new pipeline. So in this new pipeline, so let us try to take a one, one dummy activity. I'm just uh, using the wait activity. So here you are just going to wait two seconds. So let it be. So whatever your pipeline, you can log it. So that's why we took this simple example. So now on top of this, we want to call this particular stored procedure. So to call this stored procedure, what is the activity we need to use? Stored procedure activity. Uh, on success, go to the stored procedure. Now go to the stored procedure, go to the settings section. Now here, let us use the linker service, which we already have, which is connecting to the uh, this database, whatever we created. Okay. Now, what is the stored procedure? Let us select. So that's what ADF underscore law. Now you can see if you already seen the stored procedure, it is straightforward. But if you don't see, you can see this stored procedure have some parameters, right? So those parameters you need to pass from this ADF. So that's what you can click on the import button. Then whatever that stored procedure have all the pi, uh, parameters going to fetch to the ADF automatically. So these are the three things you use, right? data factory name, pipeline ID and pipeline name. Now, very importantly, how you will get these details. So that's what go to the value section, click on the dynamic content. So very importantly, every every time you might observe that parameters, functions, variables, but you might not see in system variables. So click on the system variables. 
observe what we have here so these are all the details uh, simply we can say metadata of the pipelines or adf so you can see data factory name pipeline name pipeline group id pipeline run id trigger id trigger name trigger time when it is triggered trigger type we have multiple trigger types right so like that you see how many number of values are available you can use any value for any purpose anywhere so now we are logging it for what actually first of all data factory name so in the real time you can have multiple data factories so under which data factory you are running if you want to know so that's what just select the data factory name see syntax automatically uh, script is going to come so click ok now you can see data factory name you are passing dynamically then similarly pipeline id so what is the pipeline run id go to the system variables and then this is the pipeline run id pipeline name is different run id is different so every time if you run same pipeline multiple times every time it is going to have a unique run id so that's all click on run id yes run id is also configured then pipeline name so go to the system variables pipeline name so that's all click ok so these are the three values we need if you need more you can uh, accordingly first of all adjust the uh, ad uh, stored procedure in the parameters and accordingly here and then you can pass from the adf action okay so now this is the configuration let us validate as it is done and then debug so after two seconds waiting, this is going to call and going to insert these details. So as we already seen, currently in this table, there is no data because we ran this time uh, one time. So one record it is going to insert. That's what it is successful. Now go to the table and then let us see the data. So you can see now row ID one data factory name is the FNADF and then pipeline so pipeline 2 we didn't given any name so default name and this is the run id and timestamp what we will do is let us try to run this one more time so one more record it should insert how many times this is going to run that many times uh, log records are going to be there so that's what second time when you run observe a few other things actually yes it is done now go to the table let us see now see two records but very importantly pipeline run id if you observe both of them is not same both of them is not same as we told though pipeline is same but uh, every time when you run their id is distinct okay so that is what actually in this way you can log pipeline details wherever required so in general this is the way you will have a one table log table and we have a one stored procedure that we are calling from the adf and passing the corresponding values okay so this is one of the regular scenario we are going to use in the real time logging the pipeline details hope you understand this clearly thank you very much for watching please like subscribe and share the video